Miles wanted me to rock. He wanted, he liked the fact that I was playing bebop lines, but he wanted me to crank it and rock. He told me he wanted, he loved Jimi Hendrix. He wasn't talking about Wes Montgomery so much. He was, I was saying, I was saying, that, yeah, Wes was cool, but Jimmy, you know, that was just his thing, I mean, weirdly enough. And uh, of course he loved Wes. I mean, you could not love Wes. Wes was one of my all time favorites. Originally, when I got into music, uh, I think my mom was playing, I know she was playing a lot of uh, records around the house, different records, mainly classical stuff, and she played some Bach on the piano. She's a good piano player, really good. So she played a lot of classical, mainly Bach, and played a lot of different records, some, uh, some jazz records also. When I first started playing guitar, it was rock and blues. There's a lot of Motown on the radio, a lot of like soul music. And I used to play along with that stuff. Then I tried to play along with some of my mom's jazz records because I thought, wow, that music sounds really cool. And I got lost right away. So then I had to study more. And... <laughs> to me, tone and sound is just something that'll, that won't get in the way of your creativity, that will enhance it and inspire you because that's the bottom line with music. It's a language of the heart, as I always say, and I, I think it's obvious. And that's the main thing about whatever guitar, whatever amp, whatever pedals you use, if it can help you play your heart out. The first boss pedal I think I used, there were two. There was the DD, and there was at the same time, the DD3 and the DS-1, and I used those forever. They're on records of mine for, and other people's records that I played on and live gigs for ages, you know. And then um, more recently I played with Eric, and the first time I got this for overdrive, and I used that on the record with Eric, and for me it, it was better than the DS-1, which I liked a lot and still like, and I actually I used both of them on that record to set a nice sound. And, but this I, I kind of prefer for me. It's a rounder sound. It's less, uh, it's just got a cool fatness to it. And then there's the blues driver, which is very cool. turned me on to the, he plays with Steely Dan now, and he turned me on to the blues driver, and he uses a lot of the same, a lot of boss stuff. I really like this uh, old, new delay. <laughs> I think it's an old, new delay. It's like, a, it's been around forever. It's the DM2W, and it's smoking. It really sounds great. I mean, I, I used it... Uh, just today for the first time, and I'm, I think I'm already a you know, big fan. I think I'm already a convert. But other people want like something more bright, more in your face. And some of these pedals can do that too. And there's certain tunes where I want it to rock. I want it to be like really nasty sounding almost. <laughs> 